What's up, what's up, what's up? What's up guys, your girl Ariana, that cute little brown girl, everybody with a little taste of, huh? And today guys, um, wow, who would've knew that after everything that we've been through that my babies won, we would have to address something that is happening every day in our lives. So, I love you guys so much and I obviously would not be here if it wasn't for you guys, but I'm, I wanna deal with an issue that it has recently, I've been, you know what I'm saying, I've been seeing a lot of stuff about it, which is colorism. So for those who don't know what colorism is, not to go too, you know, deep into detail at this moment, but it's pretty much the whole dark skin versus light skin thing. And I know if you watch this video, you know, you probably from here to, what's the T, sis? You know what I'm saying? But it's kind of, it's pretty much the, the dark skin versus light skin. And it's believed to come from like a, a Willie Lynch era, which is like a, um, I don't want to go into too much detail about, you know, who Willie Lynch is, but y'all go ahead, because that's a whole nother video, you know what I'm saying? But um, y'all go ahead and Google Willie Lynch, but we're not related or anything like that. Um, but pretty much the dark skin versus light skin, it makes it makes young girls feel ugly. It makes, a, it's ma it makes young girls feel ugly. It makes dark skin girls feel ugly and... It may it makes me feel you know it made me feel unworthy you know what i'm saying like i was never gonna be good enough like i i was always something about me i wanted to change like oh i would be so cute if i had hazel eyes i would be so cute if i had you know pink gums or i would be so cute if like i was just a little bit lighter and then i had my eyes like oh shoot you know what i'm saying and then it was kind of it was kind of like said to me too throughout my lifestyle you know growing up like Oh, Ari, you were cute, and you know what I'm saying, like, you know, you 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 would be so much prettier if da da da, da or like a, you know, and it's just crazy to me that I had a lot of this issue of dealing with dark skin, light skin when it came down to dating, you know, when it came to dudes' perspectives of me, when it came down to like a, if I had a light skin friend, like, oh, I'd rather talk to the friend, and you know, I tried to you even talk outside of my race before and had the conversation of like a. Oh, I never dated a black girl before, so I don't really want to tell anybody. And, you know, at the time, it makes you be like, dang, like, he would like me if I was lighter? What? You know, or you be like, a, oh, only light-skinned, you know, only light-skinned dudes talk to other light-skinned girls. Or dark-skinned dudes, they don't talk to, like, dark-skinned girls, you know? It was kind of like a, when it came down to dating, that's when I really had the issue of, like, a, the way that, the way that society had men looking at females and had females looking at each other was that you wasn't pretty. Like, it made you to the point that you didn't really want to get dressed as your friends. And you was like, oh, I look cute in this outfit. But she would look so much better because, like, her skin tone would go perfect with this dress. So, I'm not going to try to do blonde hair. I'm not going to try to do that. I'm not going to try to do a pink, bright dress because if I do pink, bright dress, like, she can wear pink lip gloss and I can't. Or, like, she can just wash her hair and go outside and it's all curly and I can't. And, like, you know what I'm saying? When everybody goes swimming... I gotta wear a cap and she can't because she can get chlorine in there you see what i'm saying and it's crazy because you you think that you're the only one dealing with the issue until you have other people even in social media like um gabrielle union you know who even had to tell her her sons like uh what who are who do y'all consider bad and they they had the mindset that the only beautiful women where these light skin with the pretty buds and the pretty eyes and the edges laid and lighter skin of complexion not just completely light skin but just lighter and that they were beautiful and you know what i'm saying she had to tell them like so you name you know name a chocolate name a beautiful chocolate girl who's you know bad you know and they they couldn't and so it was just like a do you do you really look do you even try to think that a black girl you know a darker girl is beautiful you know and so that's when she started name dropping you know she like you because it's so many other beautiful women in the world you got your kelly Rowland, you got gabrielle union herself you got ryan destiny you got you got so many beautiful women that that aren't just your know, video vixens and who are educated women and just beautiful in their own in their own lane that don't really get appreciated because you know they'd be cute if they were light skinned or like oh she could have did that part if she was light skinned or just taking credit away from the personality of the person because of their skin tone and so like i don't i don't i don't believe that that's the mindset that anybody should have but it's hard to ignore because just like anybody else, I read the comments. 
I see the comments all the time of my supporters and the non-supporters, you know, going back and forth. And you kind of like, why are they going back and forth? And it kind of came like a, like a, like nobody could ever like Aerie because she, she not all that. Why Aerie not all that? Like she don't even got good hair. She don't even got like pretty eyes. Like she don't even got straight teeth. She don't even got like light skin. You know what I'm saying? Like she dark. Like uh, nobody could like her. She's she's not good for this person. Or this person could not obviously like her for her personality and her beauty. So it gotta be like a it gotta be a motive behind it. Who like who? He like what? Never. He could never like her. Like it's no way that she out of all people could be talking to somebody like that because she looks like that now if it was like a light-skinned girl i understand like that look like his type but airy so those are the comments that i'm reading and i'm sitting here and i'm like dang who who would have knew that we would really be dealing with this stuff to this day like that that everybody's mindset is even to the point that nobody can like airy nobody can like x y and z because of their personality and that it's blocking their blessings and for you not to even know me to think that i'm because of my looks or how society has you brainwashed to think that i'm not beautiful you know and i remember uh reading a comment right after nick and king's baby shower was uh oh what did it say it said um you know, kind of like, oh, I met everybody, but, you know, Aerie was a little darker in person. And I'm just like, but it was really like a really nice event. Everybody looked beautiful. Everybody looked the same, da, da, da. But Aerie just looked darker. Do it matter? Do it matter if, if you meet me in person, I look darker or lighter? Why is that the first thing to come into your head? Why is that important? Why does it matter if I'm if I'm dark-skinned, if I'm light-skinned, if in the sunlight I look yellow, if in the sunlight I look purple? Why does it matter? Because... Did my did you talk to me? You know, like rather than like Aerie gave off an amazing vibe, or Aerie didn't give off an amazing vibe. You, you know, depending on how your perspective was, but the first thing was looks. It wasn't personality, and that's what kind of has everybody blocked right now. You know, like only based off the of looks. Like I got it. You know, even dudes like I, I hang out with a lot of males, and like I have like a lot of male friends, and like I hear them talk. Like, I gotta get the baddest one, the baddest. Like Aerie, look, ain't she bad? And I and it's so funny because I tell them I'm like, they all look the same. Like that girl, she looks just like that girl. They all look the same. And it's crazy because I had this conversation with with close friends before, saying like, do y'all even look at dark skin girls? Yeah, yeah. I talked just one dark skin girl once, but nah, -uh, never again. But you can have a bad experience with a light skin girl and still get light skins a million times. But one dark skin girl, she was a little crazy. Now, you know what I'm saying? But it just feels good to be like, oh, well, I got that one dark skin person in my life. It does not change the fact that you're a colorist. It doesn't. Just take it how you want. It does not change the fact. And, like, I, I thought that out of everything after signing, after hitting a million on YouTube, after, you know what I'm saying, growing on instagram after you know you know meeting all these unique people you chris brown brandy you know what i'm saying meeting all these beautiful these beautiful souls and just growing you know in my career you know what i'm saying graduate i didn't gra graduating after having a kid beating the statistics that i was supposed to be one of them girls that had a baby in high school and it was just over for me going to college for two years i'm i'm gonna get that degree i'm speaking into existence <laughs> going to school and that you would really think that all that would mean something but it doesn't it, it comes down to is her hair done she got nappy edges her edges never done she got a little gap in the front or she you know what i'm saying like she probably be further if she was light skinned she probably could date her like a freaking trey songs or something she could be one of them like you know what i'm saying but you know it's like people take away that t people take away the like the hard work that's put into building my career based off of how I look. She don't really wear the cutest outfits, you know what I'm saying? Like a that would be cute, but that's not the good that's not a good color on her skin or I love this outfit cuz it is it's perfect for her skin tone. It's not like that one hairstyle and like this one is cute cuz it make her, you know what I'm saying? She can't rock that red hair or that orange hair because she dark skin. So, I don't hope she don't try that again. You know what I'm saying? You kind of limit how somebody would look at themselves and i just feel like it's just not fair i feel like it's it's sad and like i pray for people like that and i just i don't want my my audience my babies 
to embrace that mindset about themselves that they're not pretty enough that they're not bad enough that they not the baddest in the in the book or no boy gonna want to talk to them because they they light skin or or they would talk to them like you know what i'm saying because i dealt with it before having a crush on a boy and he didn't like me but he liked my friend and my friend was freaking rude like but me and him vibe but it was just like a you know, I don't know you're just not my type and then when you come down to why i'm not your type it was like a oh because of my skin tone you know what i'm saying and it's like a don't embrace that mindset because that's not the mindset that you should go forward in life with that mindset is horrible it's not it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna shut down your blessings it's gonna it's gonna keep positive and it's gonna keep like the good people that you should have in your life out of your life because i don't want to be around somebody who judges me everything i do because of my color who don't think i'm good enough I, my friends that you know what i'm saying my best friend kendra she if I go talk to a white boy, can't do whatever, she go do it. You know what I'm saying? Rather than somebody like a, yeah, but you don't really like this type. I don't need that around me. And I just feel like from my audience to be these young, beautiful girls, that you shouldn't have that mindset about yourself. And that it's sad that society is going to try to brainwash you to think that, that you're not beautiful enough. But I'm telling you that no matter what, have that mindset that, that you are beautiful. And forget what they are saying, you know? It's just... You need to really sit there and you really need to look at yourself. You, you need to really look at yourself and to know that you are beautiful. You are attractive. You are dedicated. You are determined. You are educated. You are successful and you are talented. Simply, you, you, you are the baddest. And you know what I'm saying? Like baddest, beautiful attractive determined dedicated educated successful talented baddest you are the baddest and you know i i was even i was even like thinking like having that mindset not knowing that you the baddest it's like a um uh what was it uh uh, I was looking on the internet and I'm like, dang, I'm the baddest. And like, I hope other girls feel like they the baddest too. And then I was seeing these clips of like Disney and I'm like, what? And they took, you know, Princess Tiana um, and made her light skin. And I'm just like, dang, we can't get a princess Disney? A princess? And I'm just thinking like, imagine the little girls who, who can't even talk. Like my little sisters who, who gonna sit here and think like, wow only these beautiful princesses have to look this way you know what i'm saying and that's why i'm it's so important for me to tell y'all that you are the baddest and that i'm gonna keep saying that you are the baddest beautiful attractive dedicated determined educated successful talented you are the baddest and so i'm asking all my you know my babies right now to take a picture take a video say i'm the baddest take a picture tag me in it saying i'm the baddest with the hashtag the baddest the baddest because that's what you are you are the baddest and i need y'all to go ahead and do that um it's a lot of events that's like that if you don't if you don't know any other chocolate girls besides myself that support black girls rock um is a actual event it's a black girls rock filled with beautiful beautiful women beautiful women i'm talking about like Women that you probably, you don't see on that, you know, beautiful in their own different way that embrace it every day that they are beautiful. You know what I'm saying? If you just want to really look, just go look at their roster. I actually plan on hopefully attending one of the Black Girls rosters. Actually on one of my like bucket list things like to go there and like, or be, you know, be on a panel and meet some of the people on there. You know what I'm saying? I think that's just one of them things like a speaking into existence type of thing because Black Girls Rock is something that I was watching and I used to be like, I got like, oh my God, they just love being beautiful and brown and black and ah, I love it. And I just want to, for girls that don't know what Black Girls Rock is or never seen it, just take the time out and go show love to Black Girls Rock, honestly, because it's something that, it's, an, it's something that celebrates us, you know? And it doesn't, it doesn't break us down, it doesn't tear us apart, it don't try to separate us. It's, it's just something to embrace everything that sometimes we don't feel beautiful about. 
you know and it's a, a lot of encouraging educated successful women that are on the roster that come that just come to watch that just come to support that's on the panel that's on everything so that's definitely something you guys should check out but make sure you guys go ahead and just take some beautiful pictures of you selfie with your friends and hashtag it the baddest because you are the baddest and i love you so much and i want to be here without you and i want you to know that i didn't get this confidence overnight and that you weren't the only one to go through something where people was telling you that she wasn't pretty and that to make you feel like you wasn't good because i just read comments yesterday that if i ever be with somebody it's not gonna be with me because i'm pretty it's gonna be with me because of what i can do for them or what i have but it's okay because i read those comments and i pray for those people every day and that I pray that society changes and stop being so brainwashed to think that that mindset is okay. And so for my beautiful girl that's watching this video, that's going to watch this video with her friends, for whenever you see this video, to know that you are beautiful. And if you, what people that, be, if you got to be by yourself to be beautiful, be by yourself. Do not surround yourself by people that's going to make you feel ugly. Because when you start feeling ugly, you'll start acting ugly. And don't nobody want no ugly girl. When you know that you're the baddest and you walk around like you're the baddest, people going to believe you're the baddest. Let's be the change that they, they too scared to see. That we are the baddest. You are the baddest. You are beautiful and I love you. I would not be here without you guys. I love you so much. Um, go ahead and comment down below. The baddest spam it. Uh, make sure you guys tag me in pictures. And um, I will see you then. Peace.